said. Welcome to Bhakti Sangrija Prasanthas. So today's class will be given by His Grace Adi Gadadadas Prabhuji on the topic of Shrikshan Sanyasari Kamita, Chapter 20 and Test First Onwards. Adi Gadadadas Prabhuji is here. He's here. Are you present on the call? Hare Krishna Prabhupada. Um, please accept my humble obeisances. All good to Shri Prabhupada. All good to Guru Maharaj. Thank you. Hare Krishna. Thank you. Thank you, Prabhupada. Thank you very much, dear Kaumadaki Mataji. My humble obeisances to you. All glories to Shri Prabhupada. Uh, we will get started. Okay. And today we are going to read uh, the last, we are going to begin the last chapter of uh, Shri Chaitanya Charitamrita Antya Leela. Uh, so before that, let us chant our Mangala Charan prayers. Everyone can uh, uh, see me clearly and hear me clearly also? Yes, Prabhu. Yes, Prabhu. Okay. okay, thank you. Om Agyanati Mirandhasya Gyananjana Shalakaya Chakshur un militam yena tasmai shri gurave namaha Shri Chaitanya mano bhishtam sthapitam yena bhutale Swayam rupa kadam hayam dadati swapadantikam Vande ham shri guru shri yuta padakamalam Shri guru un vaishnavamscha Shri rupam Sagrajatam Sahagana Raghunathan Vitam Tam Sajivam Sadvaitam Savadutam Parijana Sahitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Shri Radha Krishna Padan Sahagana Lalita Shri Vishakhan Vitam Scha Nama Om Vishnu Padaya, Krishna Prashthaya Bhutale, Shri Mate Bhakti Vedanta Swamin Itinamine, Namaste Saraswate Deve Gauravani Pracharine, Nirvishesha Shunyavadi Paschatya De Shatarine, Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda, Shri Advaita Gadad. Shri Vasadi Gaur Bhakta Vrinda Namo Mahavadanyaya Krishna Prema Pradayate Krishnaya Krishna Chaitanya Namne Gaurat Visenamaha Panchatatwat Makam Krishnam Bhakta Rupa Swarupakam Bhakta Vataram Bhakta Kyam Namami Bhakta Shaktikam He Krishna Karuna Sindho Dina Bandho Jagatpate Gopesha, Gopika, Kantaratha, Kantanamostute, Tapta Kanchana, Gaurangi, Radhe, Vrinda, Vaneshwari, Vrishabhanu, Sute, Devi, Pranamami, Hari Priye, Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhunityananda, Shri Advaita, Gadadhar, Shri Vasadi Gaur Bhakta Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna. So dear devotees, today we are going to start the final chapter of the Antya Leela of Srila Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami's Shri Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami is um, Shri Chaitanya Charitamrit. Chapter 20, Antya Leela, Shri Chaitanya Charitamrit. Chapter entitled, The Shikshashtaka Prayers. Text 1. Premod Bhavita Harshe Shod 
वेग दैन्यामिश्रित लपित गौरचंद्र भाग्यवेषेव्यते synonyms prema udbhavita produced prema udbhavita produced from ecstatic love and emotion is this better if i keep it like this is this better or the previous way was better are you able to see my screen dear devotees Yes, yes, yes. This is better. This is better. Yes, Prabhu Ji. Okay. Prema udbhavita produced from ecstatic love and emotion. Harsha jubilation. Irsha envy. Udvek agitation. Grief. Mishritam mixed with. Lapitam talks like those of a crazy man. गौर चंद्र और श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभु भाग्यवदुनेट निषेव्यतेजॉयबल ट्रांसलेशन बाय आवर बिलवेड फाउंडर आचार्य ओम विष्णुपाद परमहंस परिवराजक आचार्य अष्टोत्तर शत श्री श्रीमद अभय चरणारविंद भक्ति वेदांत स्वामी महाराज श्रील प्रभुपाद ट्रांसलेशन ओनली द मोस्ट फॉर्चुनेट भाग्यवान विल रेलिश द मैड वर्ड्स लपितम ऑफ श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभु these mad words of shri chaitanya mahaprabhu were mixed with jubilation harsha envy irsha agitation udveg submissiveness dainya and grief arti mishritam were mixed all produced by ecstatic loving emotions prem udbhavita so just see only the fortunate those who are bhagyavan they will relish nishevyate they will relish and they will also serve and honor and respect and appreciate and glorify the various moods and emotions manifested demonstrated by our beloved shri chaitanya mahaprabhu out of prem out of great love because shri chaitanya mahaprabhu is a supreme personality of godhead but he is in radha bhav he is in the mood of shrimati radharani so he is the supreme devotee shri chaitanya mahaprabhu is the supreme devotee this world has not seen a devotee like shri chaitanya mahaprabhu and this world will never see again a devotee like shri chaitanya mahaprabhu श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य महाप्रभु न भूतो न भविष्य सो प्रेम उदभावित ऑल दिस भाव ऑल दिस मूड्स एंड इमोशंस वेर मैनिफेस्टेड बिकॉज ऑफ प्रेम बिकॉज ऑफ प्रेमा भक्ति श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभु बिकॉज ही इज इन राधा भाव ही इज द सोर्स ही इज द रेजर्वायर ऑफ ऑल प्रेमा भक्ति प्योर लविंग डिवोशनल सर्विस एंड वॉट वेर द मैनिफेस्टेशन harsha great jubilation happiness irsha envy transcendental envy these are all transcendental emotions my dear friends udveg agitation dainya great submissiveness and arti great grief mishritam 
all these different different emotions were mixed together and they were like waves splashing like the waves on the beach of jagannath puri they splash the sea shore similarly these different emotions were constantly splashing on the consciousness of shri chaitanya mahaprabhu and all these waves were produced by the wind and the moon of mahaprabhu's prem the prem the love that mahaprabhu was experiencing as a supreme devotee love for krishna krishna prem that was producing all these mixture of different different emotions very difficult to understand how can there be envy irsha how can there be pain in devotional service when we say that it is kevala ananda kanda param karuna pahu dui jana nitai gaura chandra sab avatar sar shiro mani kevala ananda kanda shri chaitanya mahaprabhu shri nityananda prabhu who are the crest jewel of all the different incarnations of the supreme personality of god sarva avatar sar shiromani they are the essence and the crest jewel sar is essence shiromani is crest jewel they are the mukutamani and they are the um, they are the um, the essence they are the cream they are the marma of all the avatars of the supreme personality of god shri shri gaur nitha and the process that they gave is kevala ananda kan it is simply joyful simply joyful so how there can be irsha how there can be udveg agitation envy how there can be grief arti how it is possible it is because all these emotions are not the envy agitation and grief that we know of the material world these are divine emotions and therefore only bhagyavan only the fortunate will understand <laughs> therefore the word bhagyavan is used krishna varanam tvisa krishnam sango pangastra parshadam yagne sankirtana prayer yajanti hi su medhasa those who are medhasa those who are intelligent they cannot understand that the supreme personality of godhead krishna has come as krishna bhakta in the form of shri chaitanya mahaprabhu only by intelligence we cannot understand only by iq one will not understand only by iq one will not understand if you see all the great devotees of this world and you put them through iq testing take some nice sincere devotees from iskon and take some ordinary human beings from the corporate world for example or from the universities or take a cohort of the professors and phd's in the universities and take a group of devotees sincere devotees who are initiated who are chanting nicely making spiritual advancement and put them all through iq testing is it that the iq of all the devotees is going to be 170 180 and the iq of the professors is going to be 140 130 no no it is not like that that is not the meaning of um real spiritual intelligence that is not the meaning of sumedha so that is medhas those who are intelligent that is iq testing medhas so but medhas so will not understand that lord krishna has come as shri krishna chaitanya mahaprabhu who will understand sumedha so sumedha so means those who have spiritual intelligence those who are fortunate bhagyavan as mentioned in this verse of shri chaitanya charita same principle those who are divinely intelligent those who have spiritual intelligence those who are fortunate they will understand mahaprabhu and they will understand the antyalila of mahaprabhu they will understand the prem of mahaprabhu they will understand that mahaprabhu is experiencing all these emotions sweda kampa kantha ka shru gada gada disanchita मरश हर्ष वामतादि भाव भूषण अंचिता कृष्ण नेत्र तो शिरत्न मंडनालिदादिका 
ಮಯ್ಯಮಾತ್ಮ ಪಾದ ಪದಮ ದಾಸ್ಯ ದಾಸ್ತು ರಾಧಿಕ ಅವರ್ ಆಥರ್ ಆಫ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಚರಿತಾಮೃತ್ ಇನ್ ಇಸ್ ಶ್ರೀಲ ಕೃಷ್ಣದಾಸ್ ಕವಿರಾಜ್ ಗೋಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಇನ್ ಇಸ್ ಅದರ್ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಬುಕ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ದ ಮ್ಯಾಗ್ನಮ್ ಓಪಸ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಚರಿತಾಮೃತ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಗೋವಿಂದ ಲೀಲಾಮೃತ್ ಬೋತ್ ಆರ್ ವೆರಿ ಪ್ರೆಷಿಯಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಪ್ರೈಸ್ಲೆಸ್ ಜುವೆಲ್ಸ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಟು ಅಸ್ ಬೈ ಶ್ರೀಲ ಕೃಷ್ಣದಾಸ್ ಕವಿರಾಜ್ ಗೋಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಇನ್ ಗೋವಿಂದ ಲೀಲಾಮೃತ್ in the shuka shari samvad the conversation between radharani spirit and krishna spirit krishna spirit and radharani spirit are always fighting and arguing with each other and they are also glorifying so krishna spirit glorifies radharani for krishna's pleasure and shrimati radharani spirit for shrimati radharani's pleasure is glorifying krishna so this radhika ashtakam is sung and uh, in this the seventh verse is ಸ್ವೇದ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಪರ್ಸ್ ಪರ್ಸ್ಪಿರೇಷನ್ ಕಂಪ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಹೇರ್ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಆನ್ ಟ್ರೆಮರ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರೆಮ್ಲಿಂಗ್ ಸ್ವೇದ ಕಂಪ ಕಂಠ ಕಾಶ್ರು ಗದಗ ದ ವಾಯ್ಸ್ ಬಿಕಮಿಂಗ್ ಗದಗ ಅಶ್ರು ಟಿಯರ್ಸ್ ಕಮಿಂಗ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಐಸ್ ದ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ ಮಿಕ್ಸ್ಚರ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಮೋಷನ್ಸ್ ಸ್ವೇದ ಕಂಪ ಕಂಠ ಕಾಶ್ರು ಗದಗ ದಾದಿ ಸಂಚಿತ ಮರಶ ಹರ್ಷ vamata so there is vamya bhav also which is uh, man being transcendently angry being sulky marasha harsha and also being very happy with krishna also being very pleased marasha harsha vamata adi adi means and other many such emotions bhava bhushana anchita shrimati radharani is decorated with these transcendental emotions and mood so all these emotions that we are reading in this verse harsha irsha udve gainya aarti these are the uh, these are the bhushan these are the decorations these are the ornaments of shrimati radharani what is the ornament for us for devotees our ornament is what shri chaitanya mahaprabhu says in shri chaitanya charitamrita ante lila i think it is chapter 4 when shri sanatan goswami visits mahaprabhu the ornament decoration for a devotee is vaishnava etiquette sadachar when shri sanatan goswami he is invited one afternoon in the month of may june for lunch he is at siddhavakul and shri chaitanya mahaprabhu is at tota he is in a garden on the other side of the of the town and um, yameshwar mahadev tota and shri chaitanya mahaprabhu sends a message to sanatan goswami please come and join me for lunch breakfast mahaprabhu had already delivered personally hand delivered to sanatan goswami now the second meal of the day lunch also mahaprabhu wanted to have that day with sanatan goswami so he sent a message sanatan goswami was so delighted to receive an invitation from mahaprabhu not because he wanted to eat but because he wanted to get the darshan of the lord receive the mercy of the lord he wanted to go but he did not want to contaminate the pujaris of jagannath temple in case because there is always a crowd outside the simhadwaram on that road if some sevak of jagannath is carrying some offerings or trying to enter the temple or exit the temple and accidentally happens to touch in advertently touches sanatan goswami that pujari according to sanatan goswami will get contaminated why because shri sanatan goswami's body was covered with ulcers and pus and blood so he took the longer route he went along the beach of the ocean but this is may june very hot and the afternoon time the sand on the beach was burning hot but still sanatan goswami did not want to inconvenience the pujaris and the shopkeepers and the people in general on the crowded road outside the simhadwaram of the jagannath temple so he took the isolated route along the beach and went to maheshwar tota to meet mahaprabhu so he reached late and he was walking on the hot sand and out of his humility he didn't even wear footwear being a baba ji so his feet got blistered they got scorched and when he reached mahaprabhu mahaprabhu had already taken his lunch and he was he had taken his rest also his nap also 
when he finally saw sanatan goswami he said sanatan please take your lunch now and when he saw sanatan goswami's feet he said what happened to your feet your feet have burned your feet are blistered you have blisters on the soles of your feet now you cannot even walk what happened so some devotees told mahaprabhu that sanatan goswami took the uh, the ro- route along the beach to come to him mahaprabhu said why you didn't come from from the jagannath puri simhadwaram road so when mahaprabhu understood that it was because he didn't want to inconvenience the pujaris and the people in general he considered himself so contaminated he didn't want to touch him he didn't want them to touch him accidentally mahaprabhu's heart was melting seeing the humility of shri sanatan goswami at that time shri chaitanya mahaprabhu spoke some historical words which we should all remember shri chaitanya mahaprabhu told sanatan goswami who was considered to be a muslim because he had accepted employment previously under the muslim king nawab husain shah so sakar malik or sanatan goswami he was considered to be a mlecha by most hindus untouchable therefore he was not even allowed to enter jagannath temple lord jagannath temple shri chaitanya mahaprabhu however declared he gave his opinion and the opinion of mahaprabhu is most important to all of us shri chaitanya mahaprabhu matam idam tatra adara na para we don't have respect for anybody else's opinion as much as we have respect for the opinion of shri chaitanya mahaprabhu shri chaitanya mahaprabhu's opinion is all in all for us we are followers of mahaprabhu shri chaitanya mahaprabhu spoke about sanatan goswami seeing his humility yadyaopi tumi hava jagata pavan tomas parshe pavan hoy deva muni gan although yadyapi all the my dear sanatan yadyapi tumi hao jagat pavan even the my dear sanatan you are qualified to jagat pavan to purify this whole universe you have the power to purify the whole universe you don't want the pujaris and the jagannath puri people and the merchants and the shopkeepers and the shoppers on that road in front of simha dwaram you don't want them to touch you tomas parshe pavan hoy dev muni gan even devraj indra even narad muni even surya chandra varun all these devatas all the munis angira muni brihaspati bhrigu muni narad muni dev muni gan they become purified by touching tomas parsha pavan hoy by touching you they become purified tomas parsha pavan hoy dev muni gan yadyapi tumi hao jagat pavan tomas parshe pavan hoy deva muni gan tathapi bhaktera swabhav maryada rakshan maryada palan hoy sadhura bhushan sadhura bhushan what is the bhushan what is the ornaments of a devotee tathapi bhaktera swabhav maryada rakshan it is the nature of a genuine devotee to observe vaishnava etiquette maryada rakshan a devotee although is transcendental to all rules and regulations still a real devotee genuine devotee is very careful to observe vaishnava etiquette being humble being tolerant being respectful not expecting respect always chanting the holy name always seeing the good in others always encouraging others to be krishna conscious and always being krishna conscious oneself this is vaishnava etiquette to serve others to respect others to be humble to tolerate this is vaishnava etiquette tathapi bhaktera swabhav maryada rakshan remaining within the maryada of vaishnava sadachar is the nature of a real devotee yadyopi tumi hao jagat pavan tomas parsh pavan hoy deva muni gan tathapi bhaktera swabhav maryada rakshan maryada palan hoy sadhura bhushan the ornamentation of a sadhu the decoration of a sadhu that makes the sadhu beautiful in the eyes of krishna is 
मर्यादा पालन है साधुरा भूषण मर्यादा पालन ऑब्जर्विंग वैष्णव एटिकेट इट इज द ऑब्जर्वेंस ऑफ वैष्णव सदाचार वैष्णव एटिकेट गुड बिहेवियर दैट मेक्स अस ब्यूटीफुल इन द आईज ऑफ कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण हिज होलीनेस भक्ति रसामृत स्वामी महाराज टेल्स अ वेरी फनी स्टोरी ही सेड ही वाज एट अ टेंपल वंस एंड ही वेंट फॉर सम प्रीचिंग responsibilities for few weeks and then returned to the temple and when he returned to the temple he saw that as soon as you enter the temple hall there was a big mirror full size mirror <laughs> as soon as you enter the temple hall mirror and you can see yourself as soon as you enter your whole body so he was surprised so he called the temple president and he asked him what's going on why do we have this big mirror as soon as you enter the temple hall so instead of taking darshan of the deities as soon as you enter you <laughs> you are forced to take your own darshan why did you put this mirror here so the temple president informed we are having so many problems in the temple and so many challenges so we when you were away we, we consulted one vastu shastra expert and according to vastu shastra if you keep a mirror here at the entrance it will bring a uh, good vibes it will reflect out all the inauspicious elements hare krishna so therefore we put a mirror so shri bhakti ram swami mara says that he noticed that whenever devotees would enter the temple instead of looking at the deities they would look at themselves they would adjust their chadar they would adjust their kurta and the their dhoti folds and you know their sari or whatever and they would adjust their hair as soon as they enter and then they would come inside a temple and then take darshan of so <laughs> of the lord so shila bhakti rasam swami maharaj said that i hope you are looking at the mirror to see to make sure that you are looking good for krishna's pleasure <laughs> for the pleasure of radha and krishna but anyway he had that removed the point i'm trying to make is <clears throat> we want to look beautiful in the eyes of krishna but is krishna bothered with our hairstyle is krishna bothered with how we how our face looks is krishna bo- bothered with the complexion of our skin whether we are white or yellow or brown or black is krishna concerned um with the jewels that we wear or the makeup that we put is krishna bothered about the clothes that we wear and how beautiful or how handsome we look no beauty is a opulence of bhagwan it is one of the six opulence of bhagwan of krishna so krishna is not impressed with our physical beauty krishna is concerned with the beauty of the soul and what makes the soul beautiful it is devotion it is vaishno observance of vaishno etiquette sanatan goes some his body was covered with ulcers his feet soles of his feet were covered with blisters but still sanatan goes some was very beautiful in the eyes of mahaprabhu <laughs> sanatan goes some was most beautiful as far as mahaprabhu was concerned even though he was just wearing a copen even though he had probably not shaved in a long time even though he had not been to a hairdresser in many years even though he was wearing um torn clothes that were discarded by the brajwasis that he just picked up on the way even though he had no perfume no makeup but shila sanatan goswami was most beautiful as far as shri chaitanya mahaprabhu was concerned and we want to follow in the footsteps of rupa and sanatan goswami we want to follow in their footsteps rupa sanatana pade dante trina kori bhakati binod pade dui pada dhari dante trina dhari holding a straw blade of grass between my teeth bhakti vinod thakur is holding the lotus feet of rupa and sanatan goswami and pray what is he praying rupa sanatana pade dante trina kori 
bhakati binoda pode dui padadhari holding the lotus feet of his two prabhu rupa and sanatan goswami shila bhakti ono thakur is praying what is he praying kandiya kandiya bole ami to adhama shikhaye sharanagati korohe uttam kandiya kandiya i am crying and crying and weeping and crying bhakti ono thakur is crying at the lotus feet of rupa and sanatan goswami and what is he saying kandiya kandiya bole ami to adham i am very fallen shikhao sharanagati teach me what is sharanagati koro he uttam and make me uttam adhikari <laughs> we all want to become uttam adhikari for the pleasure of krishna but that is the way the way is to follow in the footsteps of our mahajans like rupa and sanatan goswami raghunath das goswami mahajano yena gata sapantha you have to follow in the footsteps of the mahajans so for us the decoration is vaishnava tickets sadachar good behavior and shrimati radharani's ornaments are sweda kampa kantha ka shru gad gada di sanchita marsha harsha vamata di bhava bhushana anchita krishna netra to shira राधरानी रत्न मंडनाली संचिता श्रीमती राधारानी इज एडॉर्न विथ रत्न एंड दीज रत्न आर हर एक्सटैटिक सिमटम्स नॉट सम मंडेन ज्वेलरी इट इज हर एक्सटैटिक सिमटम्स ऑफ लव लाइक स्वे द कंप कंठ काशु गद गद आदि संचिता मर्ष हर्ष वाम तादि भाव भूषण अंचिता इवन वाम्य भाव इवन बीइंग कॉन्ट्ररी बीइंग सल्की बीइंग एंग्री विथ कृष्णा ट्रांसेंडेंटली gives pleasure to krishna krishna netra to when krishna sees her sulking when krishna sees her um, that shrimati radharani is in man krishna gets a different flavor different variety of pleasure variety is the spice of spiritual life there is so much variety in the spiritual world and shrimati radharani is giving that pleasure to krishna krishna netra to shrimati mandanali sanchita मैयात्मा पाद पदम दास्यदास्तु राधिका मे आई गेट सर्विस एट द लोटस फीट ऑफ श्रीमती राधारानी दैट्स व्हाट आई वांट कविराज गोस्वामी इज राइट सो ऑल दीस सिम्टम्स दैट वी आर रीडिंग इन दिस वर्स हर्ष ईर्ष उद्वेग दैन्य आरती दीस आर ऑल मैनिफेस्टेड बिकॉज़ ऑफ राधा प्रेम राधा भाव प्रेम उद्भावित because shri chaitanya mahaprabhu is krishna in the mood of shrimati radharani in the madanakya mahabhav of shrimati radharani he has the good fortune of experiencing these symptoms krishna has the good fortune to experience these symptoms and those of us who are good who have good fortune bhagyavan will understand this fact hari bol let's go to the next verse jay jay gaura chandra jay nityananda जाया द्वायत चंद्र जाया गौर भक्त वृंदा जाया जाय श्री चैतन्य वेराइटी ऑफ द स्पाइस ऑफ स्पिरिचुअल लाइफ जाया जाया गौर चंद्र जाया नित्यानंद निताय जाया द्वायत चंद्र जाया गौर भक्त वृंदा एवरी वन इज देयर इन दिस वर्स गौर भक्त वृंदा इंक्लूड्स ऑल आवर गुरु गण एंड ऑल ऑफ यू हरे कृष्ण यू आर ऑल गौर भक्त जन गौर भक्त वृंद ए माता महाप्रभु वैसे नीलाचाले रजानी दिवसे कृष्ण वीरा हे विवाले दिस इज अ मेमोराइजेशन वर्स वर्स 3 ऑफ चैप्टर 20 ऑफ अंतेलीला ऑफ चैतन्य चरित्र श्री कृष्णदास कविराज गोस्वामी इज डिस्क्राइबिंग महाप्रभु इन दिस वे ए माता महाप्रभु 
वैसे नीलाचल है इज रिसाइडिंग इन नीलाचल रजनी नाइट दिवस है डे टाइम कृष्ण विर है बिकॉज ऑफ फीलिंग सेपरेशन फ्रॉम कृष्ण इन राधा भाव फीलिंग सेपरेशन फ्रॉम कृष्ण वाले ही वॉज ऑलवेज इन स्टेट ऑफ एक्सटैटिक एक्सटैटिक लिविंग ओवरवेल विद इमोशंस ए मत महाप्रभु वैसे नीला चले रजनी नी रजनी दिवसे कृष्ण विरा हे विवाले ट्रांसलेशन वाइल श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभु दस रिसाइडेड एट जगन्नाथ पुरी नीलाचल ही वॉज कंटिन्युअसली ओवरवेल विवल डे एंड नाइट रजनी दिवस है कृष्ण विरा है बाय सेपरेशन फ्रॉम कृष्ण सेपरेशन फ्रॉम कृष्ण सेपरेशन फ्रॉम कृष्ण This is a different type of ecstasy, my dear friends, and only Bhagyavan Jana will understand it. Ei mata maha prabhu aise nila chale rajani divase Krishna vira he vivale. We should understand the meaning of these verses, and we can sing these verses. This is the best way. Sadatam kirtan to ma. So always remember Krishna. तस्मात्सु कालेशु मनमनाजन सने रसगीत श्लोक आस्वादने रात्रि दिने डे एंड नाइट रस गीत डिफरेंट सॉन्ग्स रसिक सॉन्ग्स एंड वर्सेस श्लोक वर्सेस फ्रॉम द स्क्रिप्चर्स आस्वादन टेस्टिंग विथ हू स्वरूप रामानंद विथ इज कॉन्फिडेंशियल असोसिएट्स हू हैड द कैपेसिटी टू अंडरस्टैंड नॉट जस्ट विथ एनी वन विथ स्वरूप दामोदर गोस्वामी हु इज ललिता सखी एंड श्री रामानंद राय हु श्री विशाखा सखी स्वरूप रामानंद ए जान सने रात्रि दिन रस गीत श्लोक आस्वादने नाना भाव उठे प्रभु हर्ष शोक रोष दैन्योद्वेग आरती उत्कंठा संतोष दट सेम संस्कृत वर्ष is being explained in bengali now nana bhav various types of kinds of emotions uthe awaken prabhur in shri chaitanya mahaprabhu various bhav various nana bhav various emotions uthe were arising what were they harsha shoka rosha harsha is happiness jubilation shoka is lamentation rosh the anger vamya bhav then dainya humility dakshin bhav उद्वेग एंगजायटी आरती ग्रीफ उत्कंठा ग्रेट इगरनेस मोर इगरनेस संतोष सैटिस्फैक्शन जस्ट सी द कॉन्ट्ररीनेस ऑफ दिस डिफरेंट इमोशन ट्रांसलेशन बाय अवर बिलवट श्रील प्रभु श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभु रेलिश द सिम्टम्स ऑफ वेरियस ट्रांसेंडेंटल इमोशन सच एस जुबिलेशन लेमेंटेशन एंगर ह्यूमिलिटी एंगजायटी ग्रीफ इगरनेस एंड सैटिस्फैक्शन नाना भाव उठे प्रभु हर्ष शोक रोष दैन्योद्वेग आरती उत्कंठा संतोष से से भावे निज श्लोक पड़िया श्लोकेर अर्थ आस्वाद ये दुई बंधु लैया Say, say, bhav. In that particular emotion, nija shloka padiya, reciting his own verses. Shloke na of the verses, artha aswada ye tastes the artha, the meaning of the shloka, the verses that he himself had composed. Which means the shikshastha compares nija shloka padiya. Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu himself was relishing the meaning of these eight. वर्सेस श्री शिक्षाष्टकम 
with whom? Dui Bandhu Laiya, with his two friends, Sarup Dhamadar Goswami and Ramananda Rai. Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu would recite his own verses, expressing their meanings and emotions, and thus enjoy tasting them with these two friends, Sarup Dhamadar Goswami and Sri Ramananda Rai. Kona Dine Kona Bhave Shloka Patana Sei Shloka Aswadite Ratri Jagarana Kona Dine Kona Bhave Different, different emotions, different, different days. Variety is the spice of spiritual life. Shloka Patana, reciting different shlokas. Say Shloka, those verses of Shikshashtakam, Aswadite to taste Ratri Jagarana. He would keep awake, relishing the meaning of the Shikshashtakam verses. Sometimes Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu would be absorbed in a particular emotion and would stay awake all night, reciting related verses and relishing their taste. Harshe Prabhu kahe shuna swarup ram rai nama sankirtana kalau parama upai Harshe Prabhu kahe shuna swarup ram rai nama sankirtana kalau parama upai Harsha in great joy. Harsha in great joy. Prabhu kahe. Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu would say, Shuna Swarup Ram Rai. Listen, my dear Swarup Damodar Goswami, my dear Ramananda Rai. Listen, with great harsha, with great happiness, Mahaprabhu would declare why he is happy. He is happy for us because we are going to be delivered. Kali Kalena Amarupa Krishna Avatar. Nama haite hayasarva jagatanistar. Krishna Nam has come to deliver the whole world in Kaliuk. Kali Kale Nama Rupe Krishna Avatar. In Kaliuk, Krishna has come in the form of his name, Nama Avatar. In Dwapar it was Shri Vigraha Avatar, Shri Murti Avatar. Before that, it was Yagya Purush Avatar. Before that, it was uh, Dhyana Murti. In, in the dhyan, in the meditation, he would appear in the heart of the devotees. Ishwara Sarup Bhutana Mrit Deshe Arjuna Tishtati. Yogi Nam Api Sarveshan Mad Gate Nantar Atmana. Shraddhavayan Ajate Yoma. Same Yuktakta Bomata. They are seeing Krishna in their own hearts in Satya Yuga. But in Kali Yuga, we don't have the capacity to meditate and see Krishna in our heart like Dhruva Maharaj did. We don't have the capacity to perform yagyas like Prithu Maharaj did. We don't have the capacity to perform Shri Vigraha Seva like so many great devotees did in the bygone years. Like Ambarish Maharaj. Such wonderful deity worship standards he had. Now we don't have all that. We cannot even afford to offer real jewelry to Krishna. We wear real gold. But for Krishna, we buy fake plastic. Hare Krishna. What standards we have. So what can we do in Kali? We are so fallen. Kali Kale Nama Rupa Krishna Avatar. It's just Nam. Krishna Nam. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Krishna Krishna. Hare Hare. Hare Ram. Hare Ram. Ram Ram. Hare Hare. Radha Nam. Radha Krishna Pranamor. Yugala Kishor. Jivane Marane Gati. Aranahi Mor. Bhajo Radhe Govind Shri Radhe Bhajo Radhe Govind Shri Radhe Mana Radhe Krishna Radhe Krishna Radhe Krishna Bol Radhe Krishna Bol Ore Radhe Krishna Bol Radhe Krishna Bol Ore Radhe Krishna Bol Mana Radhe Krishna Radhe Krishna Radhe Krishna Bol Mana Radhe Krishna, Radhe Krishna, Radhe Krishna, Bo. Bhajo Radhe, Govinda Shri Radhe, Bhajo Radhe, Govinda Shri Radhe.
walking talking lying down sleeping eating at all times you'd keep chanting the holy name kali kale naam roop krishna avatar naam haite haya sarva jagat nistar it is this krishna naam that is going to deliver the whole world कलिकाले नाम विनु नाही अन्य धर्म सर्व मंत्र सार नाम ए शास्त्र मर्म इन हरिणाम चिंता मणि श्री भक्ति उन ठाकुर राइट्स दिस वर्स कलिकाले नाम विनु नाही अन्य धर्म इन कलयुग अदर देन चैंटिंग द होली नेम ऑफ कृष्णा देयर इज नो अदर धर्म कलिकाले नाम विनु नाही अन्य धर्म सर्व मंत्र सार नाम ए शास्त्र मर्म एंड व्हाट इज द एसेंस ऑफ ऑल स्क्रिप्चर्स व्हाट इज द एसेंस ऑफ ऑल द मंत्रस इट इज नाम यू टेक एनी मंत्र ओम नमो नारायणाय दिस इज अ मंत्र ओम नमो नारायणाय इट स्टार्ट्स विद द प्रणव स्टार्ट्स विद ओम इट्स ऑथेंटिक वैदिक मंत्र तारक मंत्र व्हाट इज द सर्व मंत्र सार नाम ए शास्त्र मर्म what is the sar what is the essence of this mantra om namo narayana what is that one word if you remove it from the mantra the mantra will not be effective it is narayan sarva mantra sar naam ei shastra marma all the shastras are declaring that the heart the sar the essence of all the mantras is naam without naam the mantra is nishfal is useless om namo narayanaya So Narayan is the most important essence of this mantra. Sarva mantra sar naam ei shastra mam. Shri Krishna sharanam mama. Shri Bhagwan Lama Charya has given this beautiful mantra for their sampradaya. But what is the essence of this mantra? Shri Krishna sharanam mama. It is Shri Krishna. Means Radha Krishna. Shri ji and Radha or Shri ji is Radha Rani and Krishna is Krishna Bhagwan. Shri Krishna sharanam mama. The essence of this mantra is Shri Krishna. होली नेम देर फॉर महाप्रभु इज हर्षे प्रभु कहे ग्रेट जॉय महाप्रभु इज टेलिंग सुन स्वरूप राम राय नाम संकीर्तन कल परम उपाय is happy for us because we are going to be delivered now nama sankirtan kalau parama upaya the ultimate method ultimate treatment for kali yuga diseased persons like us is nama sankirtan harshe prabhu kahe shuna swarup ram ra नाम संकीर्तन कलौ परम उपाय इन ग्रेट जुबिलेशन श्री चैतन्य महापुरुष एंड माय डियर स्वरूप दामोदर माय डियर रामानंद राय नो फ्रॉम मी दैट चैंटिंग द होली नेम्स इज द मोस्ट फिजिबल मींस ऑफ सैल्वेशन परम उपाय कलौ इन दिस एज ऑफ कली कलह लाती इति कली कलयुग मींस क्वारल एंड फाइटिंग एवरी रिलेशनशिप will be riddled with fights and quarrels and misunderstanding and difference of opinion and hypocrisy even though we are not advanced we will pretend as if we are advanced i will give class yes mata ji every tuesday you please put me for bhakti sang i want to give every tuesday every other tuesday i want to give class please please i want to give i am very qualified mata ji please give me chance i will speak this mentality is there in me Although not advanced, although completely victimized by lust, anger, greed, envy, pride, false ego tendency to criticize others, but still I want to give class. Yes, I am most qualified. Everyone should open your ears, sit down, and listen from me. I am speaking, and put it on YouTube, so everyone for all time to come can hear my pure words. Vishuddha Vani. I am very sorry. I am not qualified. i should not be speaking <clears throat> so mahaprabhu is very happy mahaprabhu is very happy that we have got the holy name and the holy name will deliver all of us 
परम उपाय जय हो इन दज ऑफ कली कॉरल एंड हिपोक्रेसी इन कलियु पीपल विल बी हिपोक्रिटिकल अकॉर्डिंग टू शास्त्र hypocrite means to pretend to be more than what we are that is hypocrisy to pretend to be something that we are not to pretend everything is all right why should we pretend everything is all right once a prabhupada disciple had come to shri radha gopinath mandir and he was telling a uh, very nice anecdote he said he wanted to buy a chappal his chappal broke or something so he went to the showroom to buy a chappal some footwear simple footwear as a sanyasi simple footwear some rubber sandals or something so as soon as he entered the shop the sales person walked up to maharaj and reflexly said how may i help you sir and pat came the reply from maharaj please help me get out of the repeated cycle of birth and death <laughs> you can imagine the flabbergasted expression that the sales person must have had on hearing this just all in a day's work just a routine customer walks in hey sir how can i help you help me get out of the repeated cycle of birth and death in this material world what <laughs> Go to Shri Prabhupad, Hare Krishna. So this is this disciple of Shri Prabhupad is honest, honest. What is in the heart is coming out, absorbed. So we have to be saral. We have to be straightforward. It is said in Hindi, saral ta hi vaishnav ta. Saral ta hi vaishnav ta. Vaishnav is straightforward, simple, simple. we should be straight forward but kaliyug means crookedness duplicity the two hallmarks of kaliyug kapatata to be duplicious hypocritical and quarrelsome kalaha means kali kalaha means to fight kalaha lapi iti kali but still even though we have these faults kaler dosha nidhe rajan asti o eka mahan guna kirtana deva krishnasya Mukta Sangha Param Rajesh. Shri Shukdev Goswami tells us towards the end of Shri Mad Bhagavatam that Kaler Dosha Nidhe Raja No Maharaj Parikshit Kaliyu is an ocean of faults. Ashtiyo Eka Mahan Guna, but there is one great quality. Kirtana Deva Krishna Sya. If you chant the name of Krishna, Mukta Sangha Param Rajesh, you will attain the supreme destination. You get freed from all this contamination. Verse nine. Sankirtana Yadne Kalau Krishna Aradhan. सेता सुमेधा पाए कृष्ण रचरण आई एम गोइंग लिटिल फास्ट दैट वी आर रनिंग आउट ऑफ टाइम ट्रांसलेशन इन दिस एज ऑफ कली द प्रोसेस ऑफ वर्शिपिंग कृष्णा इज टू परफॉर्म सैक्रिफाइस बाय चैंटिंग द होली नेम ऑफ द लॉर्ड वन हु डस सो इज सर्टनली वेरी इंटेलिजेंट एंड ही अटेन्स शेल्टर एट द लोटस फीट ऑफ कृष्ण आहा हाउ ब्यूटिफुल संकीर्तन यज्ञ कल कृष्ण आराधन सीता सुमेधा पाय कृष्ण ऐ नंद तनुज किंक पति विषमे भवाबुध कृपया तव पाद पंकज स्थित धूलि सदृश विचित इफ यू वॉन्ट टू अटेन द लोटस फीट ऑफ कृष्ण इफ यू वॉन्ट टू अटेन द लोटस फीट ऑफ कृष्ण देन वी मस्ट प्रैक्टिस हरि नाम संकीर्तन संकीर्तन यज्ञ कलौ कृष्ण आराधन द बेस्ट वे टू वर्शिप कृष्ण इज नाम संकीर्तन इन कलियुग वी आर इन कलियुग राइट नाउ कलियुग लास्ट फॉर फोर हंड्रेड एंड थर्टी टू थाउजेंड इयर्स ऑफ विच फाइव थाउजेंड इयर्स फोर हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी सेवन थाउजेंड मोर इयर्स आर येट टू कम सो देर फोर वी मस्ट डेवलप टेस नाम रुचि इन द होली नेम Once a devotee was saying, "Why chanting is the yoga dharma? Why not something else? Why not something else? Why not just listening? So I can just keep listening to lectures. I don't have to do anything while working, driving, eating. I can just keep a lecture on, and that should give me all perfection. I can just put them lectures on loop 
and keep hearing them. Why this chanting is a yoga dharma? Oof. I want to wait for the next yoga to start so that the yoga dharma will change. I don't like this yoga dharma. Hare Krishna. No, we should develop taste for chanting because the holy name is non different from Krishna. What is that verse from Padma Puran? Nama Chinta Mani Krishna Chaitanya Rasavigraha Purana Shuddho Nitya Mukto Abhinna Twa Nama Namino Abhinna Twa Nama Krishna Nama is non different from our beloved Rasaraj Ras Bihari Gopinath Gopiyanavalla Krishna Sham Sundar Krishna. He is non different from his name. This we have to understand. So, best way to worship Krishna in Kali Yuga is Sankirtana Yat. It is a yagya. Sankirtan is a yagya. In Bhagavad Gita, Krishna says in the 18th chapter, three things should never be abandoned because these three things purify even the Mahatmas, even the great souls. What are the three things we should never give up? Daan, Tapa, and Yadya. Daan means charity. As Grihastas, we must donate our wealth for the purpose of serving Srila Prabhupada's mission. It's gone. We must. That purifies is our wealth. We must give donations. We must give donations to the Sadhu, Guru, Vaishnavas. Yes, Dan. Second is Tapa. What is Tapasya? Austerity. Following the four regulative principles. The temptation may be there. The facility may be there to fulfill our temptations. But no, I will not do it because it is Shastra Viruddha. It is Pratikul to my devotional service. It is unfavorable to Krishna consciousness. So I will not do it. I have given my word. I have taken the vows of initiation. No matter what temptation comes, I will not give up. I will not give in to these temptations. I will not give up my vows. That is called tapasya. Fasting on Ekadashi, that is tapasya. Tapa has to be done. So, dan, tapa and yadnya. What is the yadnya? It is not any yadnya with fire. We don't have to light fire. Simply. The best yadnya is nam sankirtan. Nam Sankirtan Yadya. Krishna Varanam Tusa Krishnam Sango Pankastra Parshadam Yagyai Sankirtana Prime Yadantihi Sume. Chanting Sankirtan is a Yadya. In this verse also it is given. Verse 9. Sankirtana Yagya Kalau Krishna Aradhan. The best way to worship Krishna in Kali Yuga is Sankirtan. What is the definition of Sankirtan? We will see at the end of the class. In this age of Kali, the pro Worshipping Krishna is to perform sacrifice, Sankirtan Yajna, by chanting the holy names of Lord Krishna. One who does so is certainly very intelligent, Sumedha, very intelligent. And he attains shelter at the lotus feet of Krishna. Paya Krishnera Charana. Kripaya Tava Pada Pankaja Sita Dhuli Sadrisham Vichintaya. Please make me the dust at your lotus feet. Consider me the particle of speck of dust at your lotus feet, my dear Krishna. Please. So, Paya Krishna Racharana. Bhajanera Madhya Shreshta Navavidha Bhakti Krishna Prema Krishna Dite Dhare Maha Shakti Tara Madhya Sarva Shreshta Nama Sankirtan Nira Pradhe Nama Laila Pabe Prema Dhan Prabhu Kahe Vaishnav Seva Nama Sankirtan Dui Kara Shigra Pabe Shri Krishna Charan. How can we attain Bhagavad Prapti Kaise Hogi? How can we attain Krishna in this lifetime? Very simple. Prabhu kahe Vaishnav Seva Nama Sankirtan. Just do Vaishnav Seva and Nama Sankirtan. What is Sankirtan? We'll see. What is the definition of Sankirtan? We'll see. Nama Sankirtan. Dui kara shigra pave Shri Krishna Charan. We'll get Bhagavad Prapti in this lifetime. We'll get Krishna. Vaishnav Seva and Nama Sankirtan. Bas. For further information, one may refer to Adhira chapter 3, text 77 and 78. I wanted to, but we have run out of time already. It's 12 o'clock. So, uh, text 10. Krishna Varanam Tvisa Krishnam Sangopanga Straparshadam Yadne Sankirtana Prayer Yajanti Sumedhastaha. I'm going fast now. Translation by Srila Prabhupada. This is a verse from the 11th canto of Srila Bhagavatam 11.5.32. Also quoted here in Chaitanya Charita Amrit. In the age of Kali, intelligent persons perform congregational chanting to worship the incarnation of Godhead who constantly sings the name of Krishna. Who is this? Incarnation of God who always constantly sings the name of Krishna. It is our Shri Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Shri Gauranga Mahaprabhu. Although Shri Gauranga Mahaprabhu's complexion is not blackish because it is golden like Radharani. 
he is krishna himself he is krishna with the complexion of shrimati radharani she covered him because in ecstasy when he will fall he should not feel hurt so our beloved shrimati radharani she covered krishna from without and from within she infused her own bhav her own loving emotions ah mahabhav he is krishna himself shri chaitanya mahaprabhu is krishna himself shri chaitanya mahaprabhu is accompanied by his associates servants weapons and confidential companions so his associates can be general associates for example when mahaprabhu went to south india kalak krishna das was associate when he went to vrindavan shri balabhadra bhattacharya was associate and so many associates are dancing with him so there are associates he has servants kashishwar pandit govinda these are servants he has weapons what are his weapons hare krishna maha mantra hare namah krishna yadavaya namah yadavaya madhavaya govindaya namah these are his weapons krishna 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 hey krishna 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 rakshama krishna 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 pahi ma krishna naam sankirtan naam sankirtan these are the weapons of mahaprabhu mahaprabhu did not kill the atheists and the wicked inimical elements unlike other avatars but shri chaitanya mahaprabhu purified them by the weapon of hari naam so his weapons are hari naam and confidential companions like swarup damodar goswami and ramananda rai hare krishna this verse is spoken by one of the navayogendras saint karabhajan in shri chaitan in shri shrimad bhagavatam 11.5.32 for further information see adilla chapter 3 text 52 readers can uh, listeners can please refer to these beautiful purports special prabhupad text 11 nama sankirtana haite sarvan arthanash sarva suryo daya krishna premera ullhas the effect of nam sankirtan haite sarva anarthanash all the anarthas an anartha mean artha means what is desirable anartha means all undesirable things nash they will be destroyed sarva shubhodaya and whatever is auspicious that will arise nitya krishna nitya siddha krishna prema sadhya tabunoy shravan adi shuddha chitte kariye udaye that is shubhodaye krishna prem will arise krishna prem udaye will happen sarva shubhodaye means krishna prem udaye krishna premera ullas krishna prem will begin to flow in our life just by chanting the holy name simply by chanting the holy name of lord krishna one can be freed from all undesirable habits this is the means of awakening all good fortune and initiating the flow of waves of love for krishna real happiness my dear friends is to become purified of the anarthas undesirable habits and to have awakening of all good fortune by um, experiencing the prema taranga the waves of krishna prem krishna prema taranga right now we are being splashed by the waves of kaam adi lust and other anarthas therefore in the vrinda devi ashtakam 8th verse we are praying shri vishwanath chandra thakur is teaching us bhaktya vihina aparadh lakshay kiptas chakam adi taranga madhye कृपामयी त्वां शरणं प्रपन्ना वृंदे नमस्ते चरणारविंदम भक्त्या विहिना आई डोंट हैव एनी डिवोशन अपराध लक्ष्य आई हैव कमिटेड थाउजंड्स एंड थाउजंड्स ऑफ अपराध भक्त्या विहिना अपराध लक्ष्य क्षिप्तास च कामादि तरंग मध्ये आई एम बीइंग स्प्लैश्ड बाय काम आदि मींस काम क्रोध लोभ मोह मद मत्सर्य कामादि तरंग the waves of anarthas are splashing shiptas cha kamadi taranga madhe bado vrinda devi you are very merciful kripa mai twam sharanam prapanna i surrender at your lotus feet vrinde namaste charanar vindam i offer my obeisances at your lotus feet vrinda devi please pick me up and bring me to your abode of goloka vrindavan So, shiptas cha kamadi tarang namadhe. We are being splashed by kamadi anarthas. 
But what happens by Nam Sankirtan? Sarva Anarthanash. These Anarthas, Kam Adi, they will be destroyed. And what will happen? Sarva Shubha Uday. All good things. Anartha means inauspicious, unwanted. They will go away, Nash and Sarva. I hope you can still see my screen. Sarva Shubha Ullas. All good things will arise. Krishna Premira Ullas. We'll get Krishna Prem. And uh, verse number 12. So this is in the meter called Shardul Vikriditam, just like the Shad Goswami Ashtakam. We can sing it like Shad Goswami Ashtakam. Uh, so how do we sing uh, Shad Goswami Ashtakam? Krishna Kirta Nagana Naratana Paro Prema Amrita Bhonidhi Like that we can sing. Cheto Darpana Maryanam Bhava Maha Davagni Nirvapanam Shreya Kairava Chandrika Vitaranam Vidya Vadhu Jeevanam Anandam Buddhi Vardhanaika Sorry Anandam Buddhi Vardhanam Pratipadam Purnam Rita Swadhanam Sarvatma Snapanam Param Vijayate Shri Krishna Sankirtanam Hare Krishna Translation Let there be all victory for the chanting of the holy name of Lord Krishna which can cleanse the mirror of the heart and stop the miseries of the blazing fire of material existence. That chanting is the waxing moon Kairava that spreads the um, white lotus, sorry, Chandrika, that spreads the white lotus, Kairava, of good fortune for all living entities. Chanting Hare Krishna is the waxing moon, the growing full moon that spreads the white lotus of good fortune for all living entities. The specialty of the white lotus is that it blossoms at night when the moon is up. So therefore it is said white lotus. It is the life and soul of all education. Vidya Vadhu, Jivanam. Jivanam means life and soul. Vidya Vadhu means Divya Gyan, Divya Vidya. Hmm? Uh, Krishna Bhakti Siddhanta. Krishna Tattva. The knowledge about Krishna is called Vidya. Not Jada Vidya. What we learn in our material universities is Jada Gyan, Jada Vidya. It is mundane knowledge. It is nothing but ignorance. So I am PhD in ignorance. I am MD of ignorance. I am MA of ignorance. I am LLB of ignorance. I am MBA of ignorance. Hare Krishna. Because it is, it is jada, jada kya. So we are all getting all these degrees in ignorance. Avidya. It is all avidya. Krishna Surya Samaya. So Krishna Surya Sama Maya Hai Andhakar. Yaha Krishna Tahanahi Maya Adhikar. And by that same equation, where there is no Krishna, where Krishna's topics are not discussed, are not taught, Krishna Tattva is not taught, it is Maya, it is Andhakar, it is Avidya, it is ignorance. Hmm? So, here Vidya means divine knowledge. And divine knowledge is the wife, Vadhu, of Harinam Prabhu, Harinam Sankirtan. Harinam Sankirtan's wife is Vidya, Divya Vidya, Divya Gyan, Divya Gyan Aride Prakashito. Divya Gyan, Divya Vidya. That Vidya that makes us Bhagyavan. That Vidya that makes us Sumedhasa. That Vidya is the wife of Harinam Sankirtan. And life and soul. The life and soul of Vidya. The life and soul of Vidya Devi is Harinam Prabhu. Harinam Sankirtan. Vidya Vadhu Jeevanam. Her chanting Hare Krishna is the life and soul of the real education. Vidya. The chanting of the holy names of Krishna expands the blissful ocean Anandam Budhi Vardhanam increases, expands the ocean, beautiful ocean of transcendental life. It gives the cooling effect to everyone and enables, enables one to taste full nectar at every step. Because the there are different types, there are three types of happiness according to Bhakti Rasamrit Sindhu. Shri Rupa Goswami explains three types of Anands. There is Bhoganand, material sense gratification. That is like a drop, actually, of Anand, Bhoganand. Then the impersonalists, the Brahmavadis, they can experience Brahmananda. 
merging into the Brahma Jyoti, which is the effulgence coming from Krishna's transcendental body. It is Brahma Ananda, second type of Ananda, happiness. And the third, a supreme type is Prema Ananda. Prema Ananda. We want Prema Ananda. The Ananda that comes from loving Radha and Krishna. Radha Krishna Pranam or Yuga Lakishore, Jivane Marane Gati Aranahimu. That's it. By worshipping Radha and Krishna, the Anand that we get out of love, Premananda. Premananda is everything. We are after Premananda. Rupa Goswami says, we want Premananda. Premananda, Premananda, Premananda. Krishna Prem. Before chanting, we are saying, in order to quickly achieve the desired success, Krishna Prem. Let's avoid the offenses. We want Krishna Prem, Premananda. We don't want Bhogananda. We don't want Brahmananda. We want Premananda. We are Prem Bhikari. We are beggars for Krishna Prem. Premananda is what we want. And prem, Premam Budhi Vardhanam. The ocean of transcendental love increases at every time. Anandam Budhi. That Premanandam Budhi Vardhanam Pratipadam. Purnam Rita Swadhanam. Sarvatma Snapanam. Let us bathe ourselves completely. Saturate ourselves with Harinam Sankirtan. Soak. Soak up Harinam Sankirtan. Like we cleanse ourselves by bathing with water, with shower water. We should take shower in Harinam Sankirtan. Shower of Krishna Nam. Sarvatma Snapanam Param Vijayate Shri Krishna Sankirtanam. All glories to Sankirtan. Seven benefits are mentioned here of Hare Krishna Mahamantra. What are the seven benefits? Cheto Darpanam Arjanam. We will become purified. Heart will become cleansed. Anarthan Ivriti will happen. Bhava Mahadavagni Nirvapanam. We are burning in the fire of lust. Lust is blazing in our genitals like a fire. Our mind is burning with envy and ego and pride. All this anger, fire of anger, all this is like a maha dava agni. Dava agni means forest fire. Maha, it is very great. It is not for one year, two year. For lifetime, this fire is blazing in our heart. Bhava means material world. Bhava Mahadavag, the fire of material existence, but Nirvapanam, it will be destroyed, it will be doused when the shower of rain will come. Sarvatma Snapanam, from the ocean, the rain will come. Water of the ocean, Anandam Budhi. Hmm? So, second is Bhava Mahadavag Nirvapanam, two effects. Third effect, Shreya Kairava Chandrika Vitaranam. Hmm? There is Shreyas and Prayas. Prayas means immediate sense gratification. I want to break this regulative principle, give in to temptation. I want to enjoy my senses now, right here, right now. That is prayas. That is nonsense. That is foolishness. That is madness. That is ignorance. That is avidya. We should control ourselves and enjoy premanand. Premanand. Delayed sense gratification. Bhajan now, premanand later. Uh -huh. That is what we want. That is called Shreyas. So, Harinam Sankirtan gives us Shreya. Shreya means the ultimate good. What is the ultimate good for us? Shreya Kairava Chandrika Vitranam Vidya Vadhu Jeevanam. And Harinam Sankirtan, the fourth quality, fourth benefit is that actually it is all transcendental knowledge. If we are chanting nicely, we don't even have to so much prepare notes and this and that to give lecture. Just from the heart, the bhajan will speak. The bhajan will speak. That is when Srila Prabhupada was speaking in the Bavari, to the hippies, or when Srila Prabhupada was speaking in some auditorium, or Srila Prabhupada was speaking in the San Francisco Rathyatara parade in front of thousands of people, he was not tripping, he didn't have his notes. His heart was erupting, bhajan was speaking. That is Shabda Brahma. Bhajan, bhajan. By doing Nam bhajan, it is the Vidya Vadhu, it is the husband of Vidya. Vidya will automatically go where the husband is. Therefore, we have to do Nam bhajan. Automatically, all knowledge will come. Arida Sthakur had so much knowledge. In the Anteli law of Chaitanya Charitamrit, Mahaprabhu is asking questions, just like he asked questions to Ramananda Rai. And just like that, he asked Haridas Thakur. Haridas Thakur is speaking about Nam Mahima. Wow. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu told Sri Pad Vallabhacharya, I learned the glories of Holy Name from Haridas Thakur. I learned, I learned Vrajras, the pastor of Radha and Krishna from Ramananda Rai. So Haridas Thakur, which university did he go to? Which Guru Kul did he go to? Which books did he read? Nothing. But what he speaks becomes a book, Harinam Chintamani, by Shula Bhakti Vinod Thakur. Wow. This is Vidya Vadhujinam. All education is there in Hare Krishna. Nam Bhajan. Nam Bhajan. We should chant multiple, multiple, multiple rounds after 16 rounds. Anandam Budhi Vardhanam. Premananda is an ocean 
and it will vardhanam it will increase by harinam sankirtan hmm? that is a sixth quality hmm? purna amrita aswadanam we will actually get to taste the honey right now we are licking the bottle from outside no but when we actually do harinam sankirtan we will actually taste what is what is krishna consciousness we will actually get a taste by doing it how do we get taste in naam by doing naam bhajan purna amrita aswadanam will actually taste what real happiness is <clears throat> and it is it will increase pratipadam at every step the happiness in this world is very temporary very fickle it's like a drop bhogananda is like a drop brahmananda is like the water content in the hoof print of a calf tiny but premananda is ambudhi it's an ocean it's an ocean fathomless shoreless bottomless ocean of bliss bhakti rasa amrita sindhu ocean and we'll get to taste that not salty water this world is filled with salty water this world is filled with salty water mero man lagyo barsane me jaha bhi raj radha rani man hatyo दुनिया दारी से जहा मिले है खारा पानी मेरो मन लागियो बरसाने में माय माइंड इज अट्रैक्टेड टू बरसाना धाम जहा बिराजे राधा रानी वेर श्रीमती राधा रानी लिव्स मन हटियो दुनिया दारी से एंड माय माइंड हैज नाउ गिवन अप थॉट्स ऑफ दिस मटेरियल वर्ल्ड प्रपंच दुनियादारी मंडे एंड टॉक ग्राम्य कथा नो जहा मिले है खारा पानी बिकॉज दिस भौतिक जगत ओनली खारा पानी सॉल्ट वॉटर ओशन आई वॉन्ट प्रेमानंद अंबुदी भक्ति रसामृत सिंधु द स्वीट नेक्टर ऑफ कृष्णा कॉन्शियसनेस मेरो मन लागो बरसाने में जहा भी राजे राधा रानी मन हटियो दुनियादारी से जहा मिले है खारा पानी दिस व्रज सॉन्ग हरे कृष्ण सिक्स इफेक्ट एंड द लास्ट सेवेंथ इफेक्ट सर्वात्म स्नपनम परम विजयते सर्वात्म स्नपन दिस संकीर्तन मूवमेंट इज फॉर सर्व फॉर एवरी वन नॉट जस्ट ब्राह्मण नॉट जस्ट इंडियंस एनी वन कैन कम एंड बेद दम सेल्स एंड गेट प्यूरिफाइड मार जनम like gundija marjanam everybody can come and participate in the sarvatma for everyone sarvatma completely sarvatma snapanam param vijayate shri krishna sankirtanam shri krishna sankirtan ki jai these are the seven effects of sankirtan movement i wanted to speak in more detail but we have run out of time verse number 13 sankirtana haite paap samsara nashan chitta shuddhi sarva bhakti sadhana udgam जनमर्पण शुद्ध हवे मन विषाया छाड़िया कबे शुद्ध हे माना तब आम हे रिबो श्री वृंदावन ठाकुर महाशय श्री नरोत्तम ठाकुर सिंह विषया छाड़िया कबे शुद्ध हे मन गिविंग अप ऑल डिजायर फॉर सेंस ग्रेटिफिकेशन विषय ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ सेंस ग्रेटिफिकेशन गिविंग दम ऑल ऑब्जेक्ट्स शब्द स्पर्श रूप रस गंध in different different forms whatever sense objects are there giving up all of them vishaya chhadiya kabhi shuddha hove man chetu darpana man shuddha hove man purified chitta shuddhi that will happen with naam sankirtan and sarva bhakti sadhana udgam all kinds of devotion service will arise dasya bhav sakya bhav vatsalya bhav gopi bhav manjari bhav everything will come just by naam sankirtan sankirtan haite paap samsar nasham ha संकीर्तन हईते पाप संसार नाशान चित्त शुद्धि सर्व भक्ति साधन उद्गम इज दिस द वर्स फॉर नेक्स्ट सेशन वेयर वाज आई प्रॉमिस टू स्टॉप 
Yes, Prabhuji, I think so till 15. So 15 also we have to read? Yeah, if you can, otherwise no worries. This we read, did we read? Uh, we have to read 14, no? 14 we didn't read. Yeah, Mataji, it's only till 14, I think. Okay. 14. So 14 will be the last one. Krishna Premodama Prema Amrita Aswadan Krishna Prapti Seva Amrita Samudre Majan Krishna Premodama Prema Amrita Aswadan Krishna Prapti Seva Amrita Samudre Majan Krishna Premodam Awakening of Krishna. Everybody asking this how will we get Krishna Prem? Here is the answer. Krishna Premodam will happen. Prema Amrita Aswadan. And we'll get to actually taste it, not theoretical. Actually, we'll get to taste. Yes, tangible spiritual advancement. Krishna Prapti, Bhagavad Prapti. We'll get Krishna. This is also memorization verse. We have to memorize. Seva Amrita. And we'll get taste in Seva. Ah, we, want, we want taste in Seva. We don't have any taste in service. We want taste in Seva. We'll get that. Prabhu Kahe Vaishnav Seva. Naam We'll get taste in Seva. Taste in Naam. Naam Ruchi. Seva Ruchi. Samudre Majjan. And it's like an unlimited ocean and we can just immerse ourselves. People want to go to some vacation spot and immerse themselves in some ocean. Salty ocean. <laughs> and then there will be some sign, oh, uh, some shark has been spotted. Killer will uh, run. Fat will run. Or some scorpions or jellyfish will bite. Ah, they will scream and run out. Hmm? Or there will be a riptide and they will be, they'll run out of the ocean. Scared. Ah. Premanand Sindhu is not like that. Bhakti Rasamrit Sindhu is not like that. Hmm. Krishna Prapti Seva Amrita Samudre Majjan. This is a beautiful, sweet Samudra. Hmm. And we can, without any fear, immerse ourselves. Translation. The result of chanting Hare Krishna is that one awakens his love for Lord Krishna and tastes transcendental bliss. Ultimately, one attains the association of Shri Krishna and engages in his devotional service as if immersing himself in a great ocean of love. Great ocean of love is Premananda Siddhu. Shri Chaitanya Charitma Amrit Ki Chai Nitai Gaur Premanandi Hari Hari Bol Jagat Guru Srila Prabhupad Ki Chai Bhakti Sangha Group Ki Chai Hare Krishna. Uh, now one second, huh? Let's do something very quick. I have never done this, but I don't know if it will work, but I'm going to try because I am in the hospital parking lot in the car. Let's see. Play. Can we play Kahoot? Quickly. Just five questions. Just five. We have to download Kahoot then, you know. Yeah. Can you see anything? No, no, just open kahoot.in. Uh, kahoot, sorry. But it's only five questions. Okay, maybe it is not working. But anyway, I had to. Okay, yeah. Can you see the team? Hmm. So, yes. what do I click now? What do I click? Classic? I yeah. Should I click classic? Loading the game pin. Okay, game pin is 901-3746. Hari Hari. Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare Kahoot.art uh, in Art, so, art. Kahoot.it Oh sorry, I'm sorry Mataji Kahoot.it it. Yeah. I beg your pardon Kahoot.it yeah. Only 5 questions are there So what's the, what's the pin Prabhu? 901-3746 Yeah. I see Three devotees have joined. Kirtala Sundari Mataji has come. Vinita Gandharika Devati Mataji has come. Uh, Ladini Kupika Devi Das Anjana. Uh, Manch Mataji has come. Who is TMP? Tirvikram Madhav Pundari Kaksha. Okay. So Ruchika Mataji has come. I will chant Hare Krishna three times and then we will start. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. 
हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे ओके सो गेट स्टार्टेड हरे हरे ओके इन दोनों मंदिरों पर जाएं स्टार्ट Put at home to go back home, back to the bed. Hare Krishna. Jai Ho. Hari Hari. Who was the first to write down the Shrikshastakam verses of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu? Mahaprabhu spoke, but who wrote them down? Krishna Sarira Goswami. Hey! No, no, no! You cannot answer loudly. You have to click. Oh, I don't know. Oh, okay. <laughs> Mother is so innocent. You have to click, Mother is. Or if you, yes, it is Rupa Goswami. So Rupa Goswami was the first one to write down this in Padyavali, and Kaviraj Goswami, Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami, got it from the Padyavali and put it in the last chapter of Anthil of Chaitanya Charitam. Hari Hari, it was Rupa Goswami. Majority said Kaviraj Goswami, but it actually Rupa Goswami in Padyavali. Okay, next question. Ready? Are you ready? Hare Krishna. Oh wow! Devahuti Mata Ji, TMP. Okay, let's go next. Krishna. In this verse of Shiksha Shlokam, the first verse, Shiloh Darpana Marjanam, who is referred to as the wife of Krishna Sankirtan? Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. हरे राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे यस इट इज विद्या विद्या वधु जीवन जय हो नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन ओके सो टीएमपी इज नंबर वन विनीता गंधर्वी का माता जी काम रुचि का माता जी ओके फनी इज फनेश्वरी माता जी ओके व्हाट इज श्रेयस श्रेयस इज इमीडिएट बेनिफिट एंड प्रेयस इज अल्टीमेट बेनिफिट ट्रू ऑफ ऑल्स श्रेयस इज इमीडिएट बेनिफिट प्रेयस इज अल्टीमेट बेनिफिट ट्रू ऑफ ऑल्स फॉल्स बिकॉज श्रेयस इज अल्टीमेट एंड प्रेयस इज इमीडिएट ओके श्रेयस इज अल्टीमेट नॉट इमीडिएट ओके गुड लेट्स गो रुचि का माता जी जय हो All devotees are doing great. Next question. This is the second last question. There are three types of happiness. Except which of these is not the one of the three types of happiness? Okay. Everyone got it right except one. Nidra Nanda is my own concoction. <laughs> the joy of. Okay, last question. Hare Krishna. Jai Ho. Funny is winning. I don't know. Funny is Prabhu Ji, Mata Ji. Is it Funishwari Lakshmi? Yes, Prabhu Ji. Prabhu Ji, it's Funishwari Lakshmi. Jai Ho, Mata Ji. Hearing from you after a long time. You are blazing, blazing ahead. Hari Bol. Last question. True or false? Shardul Vikridhutam is the meter of the first verse of Shikshastakam. Almost everyone got it correct. So let's see who is the winner. Hare Krishna. Ruchi ka mata ji, nice. Is this Ruchi ka Shrivastha mata ji? Yes, Prabhu. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Kirti da Sundari mata ji, and then our Paneshwari Lakshmi mata ji. Jai Ho. <laughs> Hare Krishna. Thank you, thank you, dear devotees. I just thought of doing something fun today. So Vinita Gandhari Gandhari and Rudna Gandhari also did great. Okay, so very much. Hare Krishna, Jai Shri Prabhu. Thank you, Prabhu. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Prabhu Ji, do you have time for question and answers? Maybe we can take one. Okay, Ruchika Shrivastava Mataji has raised her hand. So, Mataji, you can go ahead. 
ಚತುರ್ಮಾಸ <laughs> we have to chant uh, with uh, with absorption and with taste and the other processes like uh, reading shastra hearing hari katha they nourish our nam bhajan i repeat hearing hari katha reading uh, shastra then uh, chanting ashtakams these different prayers hmm? they all nourish our naam bhajan okay they all nourish for example let's say uh, as part of our vandanam we chant shikshakta compress mm-hmm. and then we sit down for japa or we are participating in sankirtan what will happen we will remember the meaning of those verses we will remember the meaning of the first verse of shikshakta kam and it will nourish our naam bhajan it will nourish our chanting okay so all these processes nourish our chanting so we should do them so that our bhajan gets nourished but we should understand that the foundation of our bhajan is naam bhajan japa and loud sankirtan both naam okay. bhajan is of two types so like that so every devotee is little different so you have to see what is in your heart what nourishes you the most what inspires you the most some devotees like for example chaitanya charan prabhu mm. he loves to sit and read shastra mm. so for him that is the nourishment mm-hmm. mm. then the, there will be some devotees they may get their nourishment from doing deity worship mm-hmm. like our janani was prabhu pankajangre prabhu so they will focus on deity worship some will get nourishment from reading shastra uh, his holiness radha govind maharaj for 12 hours every day he reads shrimad bhagavatam for decades because he gets his he is so uh, so attached to bhagavatam shrimad bhagavatam so okay. different devotees shripad ayendra prabhu uh, would chant and do naam sankirtan all day long that was mm-hmm. his mood so different mm-hmm. devotees have different flavors different moods different um, uh, different limbs of bhakti that attract them the most so we have to balance it nicely chaturmas has come ekadashi has come the idea is we have to be more absorbed in krishna yena kena prakarena mana krishna niveshayat we have to be more absorbed in krishna now how to do it that will depend on one's nature but okay. at least the bare minimum naam bhajan has to be performed okay and then you see for me i like to take a wholesome balance i should have deity worship also i should hear bhagavatam class also um then some uh, groups naam sankirtan with devotees then uh, chanting extra rounds also like that some extra ashtakam so nikadashi so like that i like to do a mixture of everything but the okay. foundation is naam bhajan all the other processes are nourishing naam bhajan okay okay so all you right. see what works what works best for you okay all right prabhu thank you so much dhanvat pranam dhanvat pranam hari krishna so we will stop here thank you very much kirsa sundari mata ji for giving me this opportunity priti vilasini mata ji and kamodaki mata ji very grateful to you uh, and again my apologies for going over time hare krishna jai shila prabhu ji we enjoyed our good game thank you hare krishna thank you i was going to discuss the definition of kirtan sankirtan yeah i really want it prabhu i really want that do it real quick can i do it real quick because you know even i had this question that param vijayate krishna sankirtanam so what sankirtana means our japa or sankirtana means the congregational chanting that we do like so is it okay if, if i take 2 minutes and quickly do it yeah please prabhu please okay. go ahead even 5 minutes okay hare krishna thank you <laughs> thank you mata ji so shila bhakti siddhanta saraswati thakur has written a commentary on the shikshashtakam verses i repeat Uh, Shrila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur Prabhupada has written a commentary on the Shikshashtakam verses. And in that commentary, in his commentary to the first verse of Shikshashtakam, Shrila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur explains what is the meaning of Sankirtan. Param Vijayate Shri Krishna Sankirtanam. What is the meaning of Sankirtan? Shrila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur quotes from Shrila Rupa Goswami's Bhakti Rasamrit Sindhu 1.2.145 and he says, listen carefully, the definition of kirtan 
डेफिनेशन ऑफ कीर्तन नॉट संकीर्तन डेफिनेशन ऑफ कीर्तन नाम लीला गुणा दीना उच्चर भाषा तू कीर्तन सो रूप गोस्वामी इज डिफाइनिंग कीर्तन नाम मीन्स कृष्ण नाम लीला मीन्स कृष्ण लीला गुण मीन्स कृष्ण क्वालिटीज आदि नाम and other things like krishna's abode description of krishna's abode krishna's um, associates uchchar bhasha in loud voice tu kirtana indeed that is kirtan so he is giving the definition kirtan is defined as loudly chanting the glories of the lord beginning with the names of krishna pastimes of krishna and qualities of krishna so when we loudly chant krishna naam or krishna qualities or krishna's pastimes that is kirtan ओके द की वर्ड इज उच्चर भाषा उच्चर भाषा मीन्स उच्च भाषा मीन्स लाउडली नॉट साइलेंटली देन देर इज डेफिनेशन ऑफ संकीर्तन दैट शिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती ठाकुर राइट इन एस कॉमेंट्री टू शिक्षाष्टकम वर्स वन शिल सरस्वती ठाकुर राइट्स इन संस्कृत सर्व तो भावेन कीर्तन इति संकीर्तन वॉट इज संकीर्तन सर्व तो भावेन कीर्तन सर्व तो भावेना मीन्स विथ ऑल आवर हार्ट विथ ऑल आवर कॉन्सेंट्रेशन एंड विथ ऑल आवर इमोशन इफ वी डू कीर्तन देन दैट बिकम संकीर्तन नाउ होल्ड ऑन प्लीज दिस इज टेक्निकल शिल सरस्वती ठाकुर प्रभुपाद इज सेंग दैट इफ वी डू कीर्तन विथ ऑल आवर हार्ट सर्व तो भावेना विथ ऑल आवर कॉन्सेंट्रेशन देन दैट बिकम्स संकीर्तन इट डजन मैटर हाउ मेनी पीपल आर देर and what is kirtan so sarvato bhavena kirtan iti sankirtan sarvato bhavena kirtan become sankirtan and what is kirtan it is loudly chanting the name of krishna name the leela of krishna guna the qualities of krishna loudly chanting it is kirtan when you do kirtan with sarvato bhavena with full concentration with all your heart it becomes sankirtan i want to make sure everyone understood so can someone para can someone repeat this is a technical But I want to make sure so you understood it. What is kirtan? Kirtan is when we loudly chant either Krishna's name or Krishna's pastimes or Krishna's qualities. Okay. And so Sankirtan, kirtan, Sundari Mata ji, yeah. you are sitting alone in your room in your house. You are alone, and you are loudly chanting Hare Krishna. Is that kirtan? Yes, it is. Yes, kirtan. yes, yes. It is kirtan. Now, how can Kirtan Sundari Mata ji sitting alone in North Carolina in her room make it sung kirtan? by putting all my heart into yes jai 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 yes 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 so bhakti rasamrit sindhu 1.2.145 rupa goswami sri rupa goswami says nama leela guna dinam uchchar bhasha tu kirtan chanting loudly krishna naam krishna leela is kirtan and saraswati thakur writes in his commentary that sarvato bhavena kirtan iti sankirtan sankirtan samyak rupena kirtan with all your heart and emotions you do loudly chanting krishna naam krishna lila that is sankirtan so you can do sankirtan even alone okay now last thing for today in that same commentary shila bhakti siddhanta sarvesh thakur prabhupa prabhupad writes the commonly understood definition of sankirtan what we normally know congregational chant he says bahubhir militva kirtayeti iti sankirtanam बहुबीर मिलित्वा व्हेन मेनी डिवोटीज बहु मेनी डिवोटीज कम टुगेदर बहुबीर मिलित्वा कीर्तयति एंड दे लाउडली चांट कृष्ण नाम कृष्ण गुण दैट बिकम्स संकीर्तन सो देयर आर टू मीनिंग्स सो इवन मे नॉट बी डूइंग विद फुल हार्ट लाइक आई एम नॉट डूइंग विद फुल हार्ट बट बिकॉज़ ऑल ऑफ यू हैव कम बहुबीर मिलित्वा व्हाट वी डिड फॉर द लास्ट 1 आवर 1 एंड 1/2 आवर इज संकीर्तन बिकॉज़ वी आर डिस्क्राइबिंग कृष्णस क्वालिटीज एंड मेनी टाइम्स वी चांटेड कृष्ण नाम सो दिस वाज संकीर्तन माय डियर फ्रेंड्स परम विजय श्री कृष्ण संकीर्तन संकीर्तन हैज टू डेफिनेशन वन इज बहुबीर मिलित कीर्तयती संकीर्तन विच मीन मेनी डिवोट इज कम टूगेदर एंड चैंट लाउडली दैट इज संकीर्तन एंड सर्व तो भावेन कीर्तन संकीर्तन इवन इफ वन पर्सन विथ फुल हार्ट इज डूइंग इट फुल इमोशन इज डूइंग इट लाउड चैंटिंग ऑफ कृष्ण नाम कृष्ण लीला दैट बिकम संकीर्तन सो दैट इज थ्री दिस इज द परिभाषा ऑफ संकीर्तन